Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see the software testing interview questions asked at Sopra Syria. So this role was of a full Slack QA and the subscriber who applied for this had a job description in, in which it was mentioned full Slack QA manual plus automation. So we'll be seeing the interview questions only in this. And let me start the slide show. Right. So the very first question, introduce yourself, explain your role and responsibilities in each company, explain your project, what is SDLC, difference between SDLC and STLC, then explain bug life cycle, what is deferred bug, what is priority, what is test case and what all fields does it contain. If you are given 500 test cases, you are asked to execute them manually and deadline is after five days. What approach would you follow and why? Don't say automation. Okay. So over here, if you are asked these kind of questions, no, it's, it's already mentioned in the question, execute them manually, right? So never say that you'll be doing Selenium web driver automation or you'll be going for uh, script automation, all those things. They are asking you about the test approach. So what would be your test strategy that you have to focus over here? Now, see, there are 500 test cases and you have five days of time. So you can suggest them that first of all, you would be starting with the smoke testing. You will be doing a health checkup of the application or the software. You will be starting with a very uh, testing the critical use cases. Let's say if uh, if it's in banking kind of a domain website, then you will be testing whether the payments related functionality or feature is working fine or not. Okay. If that itself is failing, so you will be speaking to the developers and the uh, senior management team that so and so things are not working. So you cannot move forward. Okay. So that is the first and the foremost approach test the critical and the business impacting scenarios. Then Second approach is once that fix is done or by the time that fix is in progress, so you can in parallel work with your team to execute the medium and the low level of test scenarios again, because high level cannot be executed now. So then you can form a group of two teams. One would be working on low priority test cases. One would be working on medium priority test cases and so on and so forth. You would be working on those test cases and you will be trying to make sure that no regression or no regression defect has been introduced by the fix so you will be continuously collaborating with the development team as well that if you have found out any critical bug so it should be fixed with a very very with a very accurate and a reliable code so this is how about the approach they are asking. So you can tell all these things in an interview. Okay, and let's move to the next question. Okay, then there were a few of the SQL questions also asked, like what is the difference between primary and unique key? Then select employees above 50 years of age from table, SQL commands for update, select, delete. And apart from this, you can also get questions on inner join, outer joins, all these things also then yes once the manual testing sql is done then they will ask you the selenium automation questions because this is a full slack qa rule right so what are the different weights in selenium you can tell about implicit weight explicit weight what are the different what is the difference between implicit weight and explicit weight what are the different locators in selenium what is the difference between relative xpath and absolute xpath and what is the difference between assert and verify? So these all things you'll get, you'll get questions on Selenium as well. Then for API related, they were basically more interested in uh, knowing about get and post method. What is an API? What are the different frameworks that you have in an API, right? And you can also get questions on put method and the delete method, right? So you can tell all those things. And you can get some experience of API testing from Postman and JMeter. If you are doing functional API testing, you can go for 
Postman. If you are doing performance API testing, you can go for JMeter. So these all things you can cover. So thank you so much for watching this video. So it covered uh, various questions on manual testing, SQL automation and API testing as well. So generally, if you go for an interview in Sopra, Stevia company, so you will get this kind of uh, testing interview questions for the full stack QA role. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, besides this, I would also like to show you a playlist which we have created on our channel. So you can search this playlist on our channel itself, Top MNC Company Automation Testing and Manual Testing Interview Questions. In this, basically, we have covered the interview questions from various companies like Amazon, and IBM, l and Infotech, Accenture, Capgemini, ATM, MDocs, Flipkart, Tech Mahindra Testing Interview Questions, ATM testing interview questions, Accenture testing interview questions, Oracle, Sprinkler, TCS, Infosys, HCL, Allmac, and currently it is Sopra Studio. Besides this, we are also conducting mock interviews. So that playlist also you will get. So let me go over here. Yeah. So all the mock interview related videos and all the software testing related concepts are also explained in software testing playlist. So you can see mock interviews for variety of range of experience you'll get. And apart from this, we are also posting software testing jobs every day you know, on our channel. So please, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much for your time and support. Stay tuned for to this channel for more updates. Thank you.